Fans of the New York Knicks have seen their team be very active at the start of NBA free agency, but we want to know how the fans feel. So for me, there's no better person who I know who understands the pulse of Knickerbocker fans than the founder of Knicks Fan TV, CP, the franchise, and he joins me now. CP, how you doing? Good to see you, man. Dex, always good to be on with you and always good to be on SNY. How's everything going? Everything is going well, man. Everything's going well. Glad to talk to you about some Knicks basketball. So let's look at the Knicks' first free agent signing of the offseason. Point guard Jalen Brunson. What did you think of this move for New York? And are the fans feeling it? That's the question. Yeah. Well, listen, we hadn't addressed the point guard position in over 10 years, Dexter. So it was time. You know, we passed on Lonzo Ball last year. We passed on Fred Van Fleet two years ago. It was time to address a need at a vital position, which is the floor general, someone who can settle the offense and go out and get buckets himself. And that is what Jalen Brunson is going to bring to this team. He's going to be attack first. He's going to look for a shot, but he's also going to get his teammates involved. He's going to be a connector for that Knicks offense and really, really force the issue out there. And so I think the fan reactions were, were mostly positive because of our dire need at that position. So, yes, you know, the contract was a bit of a premium, but you have to pay to play in free agency. So, so far, the reactions have been mostly positive. All right, mostly positive reactions from the Knicks fans. The Knicks, they also then signed Isaiah Hartenstein, and they re-signed Mitchell Robinson. So do you like the Knicks center rotation going into next season? I, I like it a lot. You know, bringing back Mitchell Robinson, someone who was an anchor for that Knicks defense. Again, a premium on the price, but you hope he still has more room to grow as a player. They did draft him as a raw talent at the center, so he needs to, number one, work on his free throws. 48% from the charity stripe is not going to get it done, but also work on some sort of offensive game three to five feet away from the basket. That would certainly help his game, but defensively and on the offensive rebounds is where Mitchell Robinson shines bright. Now, Isaiah Hartenstein is a backup center who came from the Los Angeles Clippers averaged 8.4 rebounds but he's going to be a bit opposite of what Mitchell Robinson brings yes he's going to bring some rim protection but he can space the floor a little bit he can operate in the mid-range a very underrated passer and he's going to be able to not just defend the rim but also defend smaller players on the perimeter so you have a bit more perimeter versatility with your defense in Hartenstein so it's a nice contrast and then you still have Jericho Sims who's going to be your third string center so I like how the big man group is looking for the Knicks. All right, big man group looking nice for the Knicks. And the Knicks, CP, they could still make some other moves here. We've seen a few trades already this offseason. So what would you like to see the Knicks do to upgrade their roster before the start of the 2022-2023 season? Well, just yesterday, we had a blockbuster trade that rocked the league, sending Rudy Gobert from the Utah Jazz to the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's leaving a lot of Knicks fans wondering if Donovan Mitchell, a homegrown talent from the area, is available. But the price that it took for Minnesota to, to get Gobert is, was steep. And so a lot of fans are thinking that it, it's going to be a steep price if Donovan Mitchell is available. Rudy Gobert went for practically five first-round picks. And so the cost is going to be a, at a premium. And so I don't think it's likely that, that Leon Rose in the Knicks front office will make that move. Now, they have about $5 million to room in their salary cap. We'll have to see how the, the Brunson deal is finalized. Do they negotiate a sign-in trade with Dallas? That may free up some more cap. Do they trade Evan Fournier? That may free up some more cap. But if it's only the $5 million that they're left with, I would look for them to go out and get a veteran wing. You know, T.J. Warren is still out there. And Neyman Bielitsa, who just played with the world champion uh, Golden State Warriors, a, a capable floor spacer, three-point shooter is out there. So somebody that can fill in the back end of the rotation with the little amount of money that they have left is, is certainly an option. There's going to be a lot of options for the Knicks, whether it's via free agency, whether it's being trades. We will see. Either way, CP, the franchise, he's going to have you covered on the pulse of the fans, founder of Knicks Fan TV. CP, good to see you as always. Great to talk Knicks basketball. Thanks for joining me, man. Dex, always a pleasure. Have a great weekend. Thanks for having me on.